Welcome to my sleepover! <laughs> my glasses are reflecting. Do I just take them off? Um, welcome back to the channel. Brie, why haven't you posted in two weeks? Sorry! I would like to do like once a week. I'm afraid of saying that because then it might not happen. Um, but no, that, that's what my intentions are. Um, but today we're gonna have a fun little slumber party. I have a list of things we could do. First, there are some rules. Number one, I get the big pillow. So the sleepover is at my house, I get the big pillow um, because it's at my house, so I get the side, so I get the big pillow. But when we have a sleepover at your house, you can have the big pillow. Number two, respect the stuffed animals. If you need to move them, please do it properly you know be nice to them say hey how are you you know just don't throw them they have feelings too number three no blanket hogging if you break any of these rules you are banned from the cozy camp and you must sleep outside so let's have some fun all right i got a list of things we could do our nails um i wanted to do prank calls and then i forgot that i'm filming this on my phone um so we might just play a game instead Hello, bye! We could do each other's makeup and then we could watch a scary movie. Um, but then we have to watch cartoons afterwards so that we could sleep at night. All right. These are my pajamas. And these are my stuffed animals. Say hi. One thing about me, I am horrible at painting nails. Horrible. I have like those like fake nails that you could like um cure on which I like them but like I said I can't paint nails to save my life but I put I put them on straws I painted flowers on them what color should I paint my nails let's see okay I just do sparkles I might just do sparkles because if I try to do anything else it will go really badly so this one is called mermaid magic can you read it while we do our nails we could gossip ah! so okay i have a story so anyone who knows me knows that i have a really hard time sleeping perfect talk for the sleepover i I've always, since I was like a baby, just always had trouble going to sleep. This is already going badly. Always had trouble going to sleep or staying asleep. I've always been a night owl. Always, always, always. Whether I wanted to or not, I've just always been up at night. Which is hard because when you have school and appointments and stuff, you have to get up early. You have a set time to get up. But each hour that you stay awake at night you just get less sleep so we always just thought that it was like insomnia with me that i had but it was starting you know it just sucks and um i was like what if it's like more like i think i genuinely have like sleep issues and so um when i was at the neurologist for the variety of things that i already have a variety of things that are already on my list we brought up so i was like yo i think i like actually have like a sleep issue and she was like well we could do a sleep study so i did one in april at first she was like we could do it at your house then she was like wait no we can't okay so i had to go to the hospital do it at the hospital and it was really nice to put it, the room it was kind of like it felt like a hotel room actually i was hooked up to everything so many wires and it was really hard to sleep like on my stomach i'm a stomach and side sleeper and for that kind of thing it's really best to sleep on your back so i kind of like had to force myself to sleep on my back at least lay there on my back and just hope i fell asleep but i also do like that thing where like you sleep like your legs and your head are to the side but your back is flat i don't know i sleep I have to sleep like I'm in the womb. Before the sleep study, when the guy was putting all the stuff on me, he was like, so what, do you have like breathing issues or do you stop like breathing in your sleep, you know, oxygen issues? And I was like, 
No, no, I don't think so. Not really, just asthma. Wait. So, um, they had, they even had like a little microphone hanging out of my nose to see if I snore. And I was like, no, I, I don't, I don't snore. I've never been told that I snore. And <laughs> so I do the sleep today. I had to get at least six hours of sleep. Really difficult, but I we got it done. I go to the neurologist recently, like months later. And she's like, okay, now it's time to talk about your sleep study. And she was like, it was very interesting. She was, she was like, you know, I, I was very surprised. And I'm like, okay, like, like what? I literally thought it was just going to be like an anxiety issue. Like, I get so anxious that it affects me sleeping. But when I went, when I was getting the test done, like I said, the guy was talking about um, oxygen issues. He was like, well, you know lack of oxygen can actually like cause anxiety and stuff i skipped a nail so he was like so um like if people can't sleep because of anxiety sometimes that anxiety can be caused from not breathing properly while sleeping like it's like a whole cycle whole connected thingamajig and i was like no i think it's really just like from anxiety especially since school was still happening at that time um but yeah, so then they're all just like, it was very interesting. Um, I I was very surprised. And she goes, yeah, you have sleep apnea. Yeah. You have severe sleep apnea. What? What do you, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? She goes, yeah, you have sleep apnea. Severe sleep apnea. What do you mean? Um, I jaw on the floor, shocked, not expecting it. I was like, so is this bad? And she was like, well, it could be. She's like, but it's good that we found it now because later on in life, if it's untreated, you know, the lack of oxygen while sleeping could cause to heart issues and stuff. And I'm like, okay, so <laughs> they, oh my God, literally the paperwork, it, it showed like, how many times I like stopped breathing in my sleep <laughs> and it was bad and my other doctor check it checked it out and she was like oh it was only, I think what was it like something a certain amount of like mishaps per hour that I was asleep and I think it was was it I don't know or between like two and six times I stopped breathing I really I really don't know But she was like, oh, that was, it's not that bad. You only had a few of those in one night. And then she goes, oh, wait, no, that was per hour. So the number that it said how many times I stopped breathing, like, let's say it was like three. She was like, oh, well, that was only three the entire night. That's bad. And then she read it. She read it. And she was like, oh, wait, no, that was three per hour. So it is severe. And the longest that I went not breathing that night was 27 seconds. Not even little seconds, like one, two, three, like literally one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Hold your breath for 27 seconds. And I wasn't even aware that I was doing that. It's crazy because I have such a hard time holding my breath, especially with asthma and everything. Like when the when you have to do like those breathing exercises when they're like breathe in for four hold for eight i cannot hold for eight i can barely even hold for four my best is like two it was actually kind of scary <laughs> i was in shock i was like there's no way she was like yeah so we're gonna send you a referral for um a sleep apnea machine the mask and i was like no like this can't this can't be happening to me i was like that's another thing that i'm gonna have to sleep oh my the list just keeps getting longer guys oh my gosh so i have to sleep with that every night and i said to my mom i was like is there like a chance where i can like miss a night or like if i sleep over a friend's house and i don't have it like she's like no you really shouldn't miss a night okay but it's true don't mess with oxygen i have to do another sleep study to get like or something to figure out how they should generate it i don't know 
but I now have to go. I don't have it yet, but I'm gonna have to sleep with uh, a sleep apnea mask. Guys, like this can't be happening. <laughs> And my doctor, she was like, she was, she was like, in her, like, her mid-50s, she was like, you know, usually you see are people like me, like my age, or people that are overweight, you know, not people like you. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> it's like, I already go to bed a mess. Like, you have to see what I wear to bed. This is another thing. How am I supposed to sleep on my stomach or my side? Like, literally the amount of times I've said... How am I going to get, like, a husband or sleep in the same bed as a man one day with the way I already sleep? Now this mask, I'm, guys, I'm done for. You know what? No. If they won't sleep with you because you, if they won't share a bed with you because you have a mask, then they're not the one for you. Always look for the bright side, right? Um, but yeah. <laughs> ah! Here are the nails. I don't know if they're dry yet. Okay, they're getting dry. Say my name, say my name when you are around me. We can do a little Q&A while I wait for them to finish drying. What is your most embarrassing moment? Um, maybe when I found that I'd sleep apnea. <laughs> No, um, okay, um, sophomore year, um, people know me, I do stage crew, and we, we did Newsies. Um, when our stage crew gets to bow at the end of the production, and so when we came out, we all, like, hold hands, and then run back in hands, because we have to come out from both sides, so we come out, like, all with our hands held, and then bow and then run back <laughs> literally after like the first production the in school production um i tripped running back i have video and i tripped running back and it was pretty embarrassing other mo there's got to there's definitely more embarrassing moments but i probably don't remember them i probably blocked them out my biggest fear Probably like the generic losing everyone I love, my house exploding, you know, just losing everything. I have a I have a fear of like parasites though. I have a big fear of that. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, I'm very claustrophobic. Well, well, like I'm not claustrophobic in like an MRI machine or anything, like those kind of things. But I'm, I have, being buried alive, I, I have, oh my god, 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 no. If you could be in any TV show, what would it be? Probably Barbie Life in the Dream. Life in the dream house. I need a dream house. Have I ever snuck out? No. My bedroom is on second story. Um, with the screen in the window, there's no way I'm getting out. And I... I'm afraid of that too. Yeah, I'm afraid of being, I'm also afraid of being alone or being away from my parents or parental supervision um, for an extended amount of time. So there's no way that's happening. I think they're all dry. Can you see them? Oh, aren't they just ravishing? Now would be the time that we do prank phone calls but unfortunately i'm filming on my phone so let's play a little game instead me and my cousin jada love you we always we had like a bunch of sleepovers growing up and um we'd always play like dress up with our american girl dolls or dress up with ourselves so we can play dress up together right now <laughs> before anyone says anything i am aware of how bad this microphone is Perfect. Oh. I love dress to impress. Um I've been playing so much and I I got all the secret fairy tale. I got all like the secret codes and stuff. Um 
I see I got I got all the like secret stuff and then I know how to glitch out of the map I know all the lore about Lana the nail tech look at her it's not her I know about all the, the secret notes yeah I know about the secret notes look at this I know Let's do... Uh, frickin'... Alice. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's see. Ew, ew. Oh wait, I need skin tone. Some of the votings in this game is actually... rigged. Like, some of the things that people vote for is insane. Girl, what fairy tale is that? Guys, am I eating or what? Does she have... Is it just a skirt? white apron mm, she doesn't have the top apron too now that's bell what face would she have mm -hmm. mommy Ooh. wait what i go over here for oh No, it's white. Oh wait, she has those freaking those ruffle socks. No, I want the ruffles. Oh, shoot. <gasps> Wrong shoes. Am I kidding? Oh, she's going as Rapunzel. She might win. so silly um i am not going to become a vip one because i want to level up because of my genuine talent not by trying to cheat my way through using vip stuff and number two i ain't paying for that i have to get pony i have to look at this oh okay oh her Her mama. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, she ate. Oh, fuck! I didn't get to. I didn't get to vote. Okay. See. So, oh, is she supposed to be silver mist? God, slay. I get that. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Tinkerbell. Okay. I bought the mermaid poses. Nom nom. Nom nom nom. Of course. Oh wait, Alice. Shit! Alice. <laughs> no! 
Okay, okay, wait. Um. Okay, I have one. Okay, I have one. I'll put it up on the screen. I'm like such a meme quarter and I can barely even think of any. Oh my god, wait. Handsome Squidward? Am I insane? Yes. Is that guy supposed to be Ken? Oh, perfect. Oh my god, guys. What is most handsome school? No. <laughs> what is most handsome school? Sigma baddie on his way to save Pookie Bear. Absolutely not. Jojo! <laughs> mm -hmm. Squired word. Imagine if all three of us are on the podium. Freak Bob! Freak Bob! Yeah! Okay, second. Thigh. I wrote thigh instead of thank you. Squiddy. I've done this one before. I did this one, I did this for careers, and I won first place, and I did this exact outfit for doctor, and I didn't place. In fact, I actually got last place. But literally everybody, I might have some screenshots, they were dressed like not doctors at all. They were dressed like whores. You know, Doctors don't show their stomach and stuff like that. Well, they're doctors. Come on, let's be serious. My mama, when she used to wear scrubs, she always, I um, some doctors do that always have like a long sleeve shirt underneath. So I can do that. I feel like that's kind of realistic. No fur. Come on, I've got this one. Is she okay? She literally just been there. Hmm. Oh, not much makeup, you know. I said not much makeup. Okay. 
Okay. <gasps> Here I am, guys. Come on. Come on. Mm hmm. When do doctors wear crop tops and jeans? She did pretty good though. I'll give her. I'll give her some stars. Yeah! Well, so I got third, second, and first. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Podium each time. Two queen. Three. I could do your makeup. You know, girls, at sleepovers, we always, we always do each other's makeup. I'm gonna give you some eyeshadow. You know, you don't really talk much. I invite you over for a sleepover, and then you don't even talk. Like, I kind of want you to go home. I'll have my mom call your mom pick you up. I'm kidding. Stunning. Stunning. I've had some pretty crazy sleepovers. Okay, not crazy. Like, we got drunk and then we crashed the house. No. I mean, um, like, I've had some strength. Squidward. It's everywhere. Like, I've had, I've had sleepovers where... I've been to sleepovers, um, people have thrown up, I broke my toe at a sleepover. My cousin, Jada, we, like I said, we always did sleepovers. This is a beautiful blush shade. <laughs> we always did sleepovers, like, all the time, because for a while, we were, like, the only, like, little girls in the family. So, we've always, like, done stuff together. And when we do sleepovers... Like I said, we'd play dress up, we'd do makeup, we'd go swimming, play mermaids. Mom said um, that we could go swimming and play mermaids. And then tonight we could watch a scary movie in the basement and we could use all the blankets and pillows and we could eat all the cheese puffs we want. And then in the morning we have, we have um, smiley face pancake. We do some lip liner first. Oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> Go like this. Perfect. Here's the reveal. Oh, you'll do my makeup? Okay. You're never sleeping over my house again. Now it's time to watch scary movies. I wasn't scared. You're scared. Now it's time for something real scary. Ah! Now we have to watch cartoons so we can fall asleep. Ah! 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 All right, give me the money. Well, guys, it's starting to get dark out. It's time to get ready for bed. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you the worst it could be. A carpal tunnel. I sleep on my wrist. It could get worse. If I want my hair to be nice in the morning. <gasps> ah! 
I rarely use that. How am I gonna get a husband? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Let me know what you, what you want me to do next. Let me know if you enjoyed this slumber party. I might play more dress to impress. Good night. It is... It is night. It is night. Get a wonderful sleep. I love you. Don't let the bed bugs bite. And I'll see you next time. I'll see you in the morning. Imagine all that that I had on with a mask now. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Bye.